Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prism Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thanks for clicking and spending a little time with me today. For this week, I'm gonna be planning the week of March 22nd in my Recollection Celestial Planner using the, um, I think it was called like Unfold Your Wings maybe, or um, it's this gorgeous purple kit from The Giving Girl. And I think she sold this yeah, last year but I've been like just holding on to it forever. <laughs> um, and so now I'm so glad to finally use it. So this is the kit I'm gonna be using. I'm also gonna be using her date dots from her advent calendar, um, as well as my Grateful For script from a Strawberry Creek Studio, previously Cozy Paper Co. Um, and my sidebar for my gratitude tracking. And um, that's everything I'm gonna be using for this week. Here's a glimpse of last week. And this is a kit by Sticker Guru. If you wanna check out this plan with me, um, you know, after this video, I'll have it linked down below or it'll pop up in the card so you can watch it. But I'm gonna go ahead and recap that week while I lay down the base of this kit. And then once we get to Monday, I will talk through and let you guys know what I am um, doing this week and what are my plans. So let's get started recapping last week. So beginning with Monday the 15th, um, my son had a had a doctor appointment and um, luckily they just do like teledoctor, you know, like virtual online. So I like those because you don't have to go anywhere <laughs> and be around people and wait and, you know, just have a doctor appointment in your house. So he did that. Um, I also had to call his pediatrician um, just to check and see um, if he needs any boosters for his um, for this, you know, for school and stuff, because the school sent me a letter stating that there's like a couple vaccines that are required um, before he goes into seventh grade, which I can't believe he's going to be almost going into seventh grade in a few months. Well, sixth grade will end in a few months, you know, and then there's summer break. Um, but yeah, it's been wild. Um, so I just wanted to call them just to find out if he needs those vaccines or if he's already up to date and stuff. So I called his pediatrician and then I did a, uh, mask washing day, um, which I had tried like this new technique because usually I just throw it in the washing machine and then there's like a, um, a sanitary cycle that do, uses like really hot water and it's like a longer cycle and stuff. And I usually just do that. But um, I saw somebody on Instagram, they did that like Tide, um, powdered Tide detergent trick in a bowl where you pour like boiling water over it and then let it sit and kind of agitate it every now and then and it turns your water like black and stuff. So I was like, Ooh, I want to try it. So I tried that for the first time on Monday and the water was definitely gross. Um, but there was like a lot of powdered Tide at the bottom of the bowl. So I think maybe I, maybe I added too much. Maybe I only need like a tablespoon or something. Um, but yeah, very, um, very dirty water, but also like, I don't know, like I rinsed it out all the masks, you know, under cold water to, clean off, you know, the rest of any residual soap and stuff. And then I like set them out to air dry because some of y'all were saying you air dry your masks. And um, usually I just throw mine in the dryer. <laughs> so I was like, maybe it's better if I air dry them, you know? So I set them out to air dry and they feel so freaking crispy. I don't know if that's like, you know, because we have hard water or something, but they just feel like so stiff and um, uncomfortable. And that's how like all clothes feel because I used to try to air dry like some shirts and stuff and they still, they don't, I don't know. It's something about the dryer that makes them like soft or something. Is it the dryer sheets that I use? I don't know. Anyways, I just thought I'd try a new thing with the masks and um, I don't know if I'm sold. <laughs> Maybe I didn't rinse out all the soap. I don't know. Anyways, let me know if you have tips. Um, for Tuesday, I just uploaded my memory plan with me and um we had our air filter ship because I subscribed to um, this air filter service called Second Nature and they will like all you have to do is tell them how often you want an air filter and then what size you need and they'll ship you, you know, your air filter for, um, you know, like the AC unit, which I think is pretty convenient because I'm always forgetting the size of it and um, like I should be changing it out um, with every season, but then I like forget and I don't only change it like twice a year or something. I don't know. So I like that this service will just ship it to you and you don't have to remember the size and you don't have to remember to buy it at the store or anything like that. So, um, and that's, uh, yeah, Tuesday was just kind of a really boring day. I'm just, I did my workout, which of course I do every day, but that's the only thing I marked in my planner because there wasn't anything else going on. Oh, we also watched the Amazon, um, prime 
original movie or whatever called Bliss. It's got Owen Wilson and Selma Hayek. Hayek? Sorry, I don't know if I said that right. Um, and so we thought, okay, this is what the trailers look like, that it's going to be kind of like a Matrix movie, um, you know, where it's like the world that you're living in is not really real kind of a thing or whatever. It's like a simulation kind of thing, sort of. I mean, not really a simulation, but you know what I mean? Like you're in some kind of, you know, like computer thing or something. I don't know. Um, and so um, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's um, interesting. There's de it, there's definitely um, makes you think. <laughs> so um, I thought it was cool. I thought it was it was it was really well done. So I like it. I recommend it. So go watch that if you haven't. Um, Wednesday, I do run to the post office because I made another um, Mercari sale, and um, had to go drop that order off. And my husband also needed to. Um, refill his medication so we went to our pharmacy so we could go and do the refill while we were out and about oh and then also wednesday was saint patrick's day which we don't really do anything special for um we my husband and i we don't eat meat so we don't do the like you know like what is it corn corned beef hash roast beef what I don't know. You know what usual, what people tend to like to make on our St. Patrick's Day. We don't make that. I do, I do know there is a vegan meat alternative for like that corned beef or whatever it is. Um, but we just do something else. So we actually decided to start a new tradition. Last year, we were like, um, we were watching the cartoon Elsa in Wonderland. And we thought it was really funny and we wanted to have like a fun little tea party like them. Um, but we couldn't decide on what day to do it. And then my son got the idea to do it for St. Patrick's Day since we don't really do anything for St. Patrick's Day. So we were like, okay, we'll do it next year. So this was our first year doing that tradition where, um, we had our little Mad Hatter tea party. We watched Alice in Wonderland and I made some iced tea. I like hot tea too, but I think that, um, my son doesn't really, and my husband, you know, kind of does. He, I don't know. He kind of prefers iced over hot, but he likes hot too. Anyway, so I just made iced tea. And then I made like little tea sandwiches, um, not the traditional kind of, you know, cucumber ones or whatever, because I'm pretty much the only one that likes those. <laughs> um, so I made like egg salad um, for my husband and I, and then like a, um, a chicken salad for my son. And we had like some grapes to go with it, because I thought the green grapes would kind of look like the caterpillar, you know, like if I had skewered them or whatever, they would look like a caterpillar kind of, but like, I didn't do that. <laughs> But that was the idea. So we had grapes, we had the little sandwiches. Um, oh, and I made a spinach artichoke dip. And, um, oh, and we had a little, un, uh, little cupcakes, like mini cupcakes that we called our unbirthday cupcakes um, because in the cartoon movie, um, they celebrate in the tea party if it's your unbirthday. And it was, of course, all of our unbirthdays. So I thought it was pretty cute and um, a cute, like fun tradition to do for, to, uh, for our family. <laughs> so that's what we did on Wednesday. Um, Thursday, my son had another, uh, doctor appointment with his therapist, which is also done virtually. So we did that. Oh, and then also, um, we had used our blaze pizza reward. Okay. So on March 14th, it was pie day. And there's usually a lot of deals you can get with pizza or sometimes places that sell pie. Um, so one of our favorites is Blaze Pizza because they have um, vegan cheese and vegan meat options. Um, so in case if I'm ever feeling like I want to go dairy free, you know, I can get vegan cheese or whatever. But we really like them. Um, and so they send out a coupon of like virtually for a um, 11 inch pizza for $3.14 which you can use at any time. It used to always be that you could only use it on March 14th and it would get super busy. Like the line would be wrapped around the door, like wild busy. And they had to stop doing that because of the pandemic. So thankfully now you can redeem that coupon like whenever. So it's amazing. So this is the second year in a row um, where we've gotten our, you know, um, pie day pizza. And so we um, had decided to just go ahead and redeem our pie day pizza reward for Thursday's dinner. Okay, let me try to wrap this up really quick because I'm almost ready to start planning for Monday. So um, Friday I worked and didn't do much else. I just did my sabbat journaling for Ostara. Saturday was the first day of spring, which was Ostara. So we didn't really celebrate too much. I had to work and we just kind of um, 
hung out at home, you know. Um, we also watched the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good show. Um, and then for Sunday, I just need to do our um, a grocery shopping and go to Sam's Club. And that's it for the week. So first off, starting with Monday, I'm going to take a um, bow accent page flag from the kit and then a camera icon from Crafts by Towie to mark filming for my Wednesday's video upload. And then I took a bill due a $1 Wednesday from Strawberry Creek because I have a bill due on Monday as well. Um, for Tuesday, my mom has a doctor appointment she needs me to take her to, but um, I don't put those in with stickers because she um, sometimes reschedules her appointments and I don't like having those there if she's just going to cancel. So I used one of the Giving Girls page flag sticky notes and then I used my Pigma Micron permanent pen because those pens will not smear on those kind of sticky notes because they're kind of plasticky. Um, so regular pens will smear. Um, so I just put that in there. Then I'm going to take a... Um, I don't know what size that is. Is that a quarter box? I think it's a quarter box from the kit. I love all the little dainty bows on it. Um, and I'm going to layer that with a couple of transparent dots from The Giving Girl and then a um, clear bow doodle um, play button from Dash of Sun Designs, which is a shop that I PR for. My code's down in the description. Um, just to mark that I need to upload my memory plan with me on Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to take one of these cute little scalloped corners from the kit and then another um, clear... YouTube play button bow doodle from Dasha Sun to mark my Wednesday upload because I have three videos going up this week. Well, I've, I've planned <laughs> to upload three videos this week. Um, then moving on to Thursday, I'm going to take one of these longer page flags from the kit because down at the bottom washi section, she's got a whole strip of little page flags right there. Um, and I'm going to take one of the bow strong boxes to kind of layer over that, but I don't want to cover up too much of the page flag because there's like cute butterflies and stars on it. Um, and then I'm going to take this pretty deco of flowers from a $2 Tuesday from Sticker Grew, another shop that I PR for. My code again is down below just to layer that and make it look pretty. This is for my doctor appointment that I have in the morning. Um, so it really doesn't need to be all that fancy, but it just looks so pretty. And I decided to, you know, be a little extra, of course. Y'all know me. Um, then I'm going to take a stethoscope bow doodle, again from Dasha Sun Designs, just to mark that that is a doctor appointment. And I wanted to kind of um, spruce up the awkward white space a little bit, so I've got these clear, um, like, dangly heart deco stickers from The Giving Girl that I'm just going to place in the corner there, and that is going to be for my doctor appointment. And then I'm going to take an older bow clip from The Giving Girl and um, just mark that just by itself because it's rather big, so... Uh, I'm just going to use that for marking pre-planning for the next week. Um, then I'm going to take one of these tiny page flags from the kit. They are so cute. They each have a different little sparkly pattern and butterflies and such on them. Um, and so I'm going to use that with a Dasha Sun Designs um, bow doodle um, nail polish icon to mark painting my nails. And then I have a, an older $1 Wednesday from Strawberry Creek with the crescent moon on it in the corner just to mark that I need to moon journal because it is a full moon coming up this week. Um, then moving on to Friday, I'm going to take a third box from the kit. Again, I love the dangly bows and also the little butterflies in each corner. It's such a cute, the, the foiled accents of this kit are so freaking cute. I love how each half box, full box, quarter box, whatever are all just, um, different and beautiful. <laughs> so then I'm going to take a, um, a laptop um, bow icon from The Giving Girl and then a work from home script from Wild Summer Designs to mark that I have to work on Friday. Um, then I'm going to take a bow accent circle from the kit and then one of the Dash of Sun Designs bow icons from the virtual learning sheet because Friday after school my son starts spring break so I'm just marking that and I went a little overboard with the dots. Um, because I don't know, I just felt like using some more transparent dots and um, it looks a little weird. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like it, but whatever it is, what it is. Um, so I'm just going to use some dots from The Giving Girl. And then I have a script that says Spring Break from Rose Color Days. It's an older, way older sheet. Like a, I'm talking like two or three years. Um, so I did have to cut it to fit in my sticker storage and then it is kind of missing a lot of stickers, but I've had it for a long time. And so I just realized I had never used the one that said spring break. Sorry, that's my microwave going on in the background. So I'm going to cut it though. So it'll fit in that little spot. And then I noticed that there wasn't like a lot of room down below that section to really put anything. So it's kind of a little weird space. I'm just going to use this really pretty, um, like mandala trim accent thing from honey inked. 
Um, then I'm going to take a mini um, three heart checklist from the kit just to mark the bills that I have to pay on Friday. Since there's more than one, I just use a checklist for that. And then to finish Friday, I am going to use a um, quarter box from the kit. I think it's a quarter box. I don't know why I have such trouble identifying box sizes. Um, and then I'm going to use a $1 Wednesday from Strawberry Creek um, for, with the trash can icon because it is the day that we set our trash out. It is trash eve. Saturday morning is trash day. Uh, moving on to Saturday, I'm going to take a half box from the kit and then I have this leftover um, deco stickers from Miss and Meow um, from the kit that I used on my birthday. Actually, it came with this little sheet of deco and I'm going to use the little macaron stack because it is my sister-in-law's birthday. And I just thought the colors worked really well with this kit and I love that deco sheet. It's so pretty. So then I have a happy birthday script from Sticker Guru. Again, my code is down in the description to save and get my freebie. Um, so it's her birthday on Saturday. Um, then I'm going to take another corner circle, what are these called? Circle accent, <laughs> circle bow accent, bow, bow accent circles. There we go. And um, this is from working from home. Now I have to admit, I also don't like this section either, but I, um, okay, so I messed it up. I wanted it to look the same as the work from home on Friday, but I wasn't paying attention and I was trying to copy the way that I did spring break, not realizing that that was spring break and not work from home. Um, so yeah, it ended up being like a lot of dots. And then when I tried to put the work from home script in there, it didn't quite fit. So I had to put it over the laptop, which was a hot mess. Anyways, I just left it as it was cause I was <laughs> over it. Um, and then I'm going to take a half box out at the bottom of Saturday to mark that, um, we always have our little movie night, family movie night and watch something, um, all together. And so I just leave that blank and I will, when I memory plan, I'll fill it in whatever we watched. Um, and then I'm going to take another... Oh, moving on to Sunday, I'm going to take another longer page flag from the kit and then one of these um, cute little arrows from the kit. I don't know. It's just like a tiny bow accent arrow and another uh, Dash of Sun Designs YouTube play button with the bow. I don't, I don't know how to say things. <laughs> the bow icon. There we go. Um, for marking my upload for Sunday's upload for the next week's plan with me. And then I'm going to take a pretty pink co um, bow like squiggle accent divider thing just to put in there to separate the um, upload from my checklist for my to do's on Sunday. And then I'm going to take a quarter box from the kit with the adorable little dangles again, little dangly bows, and then a pretty moon phase, a floral moon phase from CTM Papery. And I grabbed the full moon one, which I also used the moon box, the full box um, on Friday or sorry, Sunday, because uh, Sunday is a full moon. Um, these are the two washies I chose from Simply Gilded to put at the top of my planner to add that little pop of color. The um, the one on the left is from a sub box and it's actually like the bows aren't foiled, but the washi roll itself has like a um, like a shattered hollow kind of overlay to it, which, you know, there's no hollow in this kit. It's all gold stuff, but I think that the plummy kind of color worked really well. And it's kind of hard to see the shattered hollow effect anyway, unless you're in like direct light. Um, then I'm just going to go ahead and put in my March bow mini month from letters to Apollo over that. And I'm trying to think of like a prettier way to make it stand out. Cause sometimes I like to do a little page flag, but sometimes the page flags don't fit and then it's kind of hard to see it. So I don't know. I'm going to try and figure something out maybe for next week. Um, and then for the right side, I just use a different color of purple with the gold bows. Um, this is like the purple lover's dream, this kit. It's so gorgeous. I think purple is my second favorite color. Obviously pink's my first, but this is such a gorgeous kit. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in everything with my Sharpie S gel, and then I'll show you what it looks like after the pen.
that is going to be everything for this plan with me. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss more of my videos and leave me a comment because I will respond. I love to talk to y'all. So ask me a question or just say hi and I will respond back. I hope that you're well. Remember that you're loved, you're worthy, and you are enough just the way that you are. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise and don't let my microwave distract you. <laughs> hope that y'all take care. Stay safe. Have an amazing day and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.